All right, so a few hours ago, we got the uh, Twitter reveal for Int LR Bojax Extreme Z Awakening details. So in this video, we are of course gonna be breaking down exactly what he does with this EZA and uh, have a quick discussion about how good, at least in my opinion, this actually makes him. So yeah, without further ado, let's pop over to the Dokkan Wiki and start with the pre-EZA details for comparison purposes, right? So without the EZA, his leader skill is extreme int types, Q plus four, HP attack and defense plus 100% or super int types, Q plus two, HP attack and defense plus 70%. Uh, 12 key super attack causes colossal damage and greatly lowers defense. And then 18 key super causes mega colossal damage and raises extreme class allies attack by 40% for one turn. And passive is attack and defense plus 80% plus an additional attack boost by up to 70%. The more HP remaining, the greater the attack boost and then uh, additional defense boost by up to 70%. The less HP remaining, the greater the defense boost. So basically, at high HP, he gets more attack. At low HP, he gets more defense. So that was Bojack without the Extreme Z Awakening. Now, popping over to the Dokkan subreddit, a big shout out to uh, Quentin BFR for providing us with translations. So his new leader skill, uh, let's see. It's gonna be extreme int types. Key plus four, HP attack and defense plus 120% or super int types. Key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 90%. 12 key super attack raises defense for one turn and causes colossal damage and greatly lowers defense. And then 18 key super raises defense for one turn, causes mega colossal damage and raises extreme class allies attack by 40% for one turn. So. Of course, the only real difference is that instead of um, not raising defense, he now raises defense for one turn on both his 12 and 18 key supers. Everything else, I believe, stays exactly the same. Yeah, Colossal Damage, Greatly Lowers Defense, and then uh, Mega Colossal Damage uh, raises Extreme Class Attack by 40% for one turn. So everything else is the same, it's just he gets additional defense now on the super attacks, which is great, right? And then passive is attack and defense plus 150% and then attack plus 100%. The more HP remaining, the higher the attack boost. Defense plus 100%. The less HP remaining, the higher the defense boost. So uh, same concept as before, just, you know, instead of up to 70%, now it's up to 100%. And uh, then from there he gets... Uh, key plus one up to five and then attack and defense plus 10% up to 50% per extreme class ally on the team. So essentially if you have uh, at least five extreme class allies, he's getting a, a full five key boost and also uh, additional attack and defense plus 50%. And then changes tech key spheres to rainbow key spheres if there is another space traveling warrior ally attacking in the same turn, which is um, going to be pretty easy. Obviously, his best uh, partner would probably be another Bojack, right? So if you have that Bojack or another space traveling warrior uh, unit on the on the rotation, then he's changing key spheres to rainbow key spheres and then attack and defense plus 50% when collecting five or more key spheres, which obviously is going to be easier to do because he's getting those... Uh, rainbow key spheres and that allows you to connect more key spheres right so getting key plus five, or rather uh getting five or more key spheres is not going to be something you get every single turn but it should be something that happens pretty frequently with his passive so uh there you go that is the int bojack extreme z awakening on paper right now my first impression is that it's a very good extreme z awakening it's a very good easy a for um, Int Bojack, and I feel like he's gonna get some pretty solid defense, especially at lower uh, lower HP. But even at full HP, he should be like decent defensively. At lower HP, he should be he should be very good defensively, right? Like I don't really know the exact numbers, um, but off the top of my head, I would guess that he should be over like 500k defense, right? Which is not like 
amazing, but it's good. It's good, right? And then uh, offensively, he should be hitting pretty hard. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if he's putting up uh, 10 mil plus attack stats, right? So, um, yeah, it's a, it's a good Extremes the Awakening. I do like the fact that, um, honestly, I kind of was hoping that his 18 key super would like include defense as well. I don't know if that's asking for too much, you know, if like he gave Extreme Class attack and defense plus 40% for one turn on the 18 key super, maybe that would have been just too crazy, but it would have been nice if it provided some defense support as well or maybe just more attack like attack plus 50 percent for one turn or something like that i feel like i'm just nitpicking because i do think it is a very good easy a but uh that would have been a nice change right there for the super attack um but yeah as a whole i mean there's not too much to talk about i don't think it's like the most exciting easy a it's not really jumping off the page to me like when i first saw the Tech, uh, Rose and Zamasu EZA, I was like, yo, that's gonna be an insane, insane EZA, like, I can already tell, right, I don't need to see the, the showcase, I don't need to see their in-game performance, I just know this is gonna be an absolutely ridiculous EZA, and I was right, with these guys, or rather, this unit, um, I'm not gonna go that far, but I do think He's really, really good. Uh, I'm happy with how it turned out. So, honestly, no complaints from me. I'm not gonna say he's like super broken. I'm not gonna say that it's like the best EZA we've ever seen, but it should be one of the better LR Extreme Z Awakenings that uh, we've ever seen. So, yeah, that's good enough for me. That is the Int LR Bojack Extreme Z Awakening. Um, I think the next one we'll see is most likely gonna be the Int LR God Coup, because we did have that like vote on Twitter, right? A few, was it weeks ago or a few months ago? It feels like it's been a while. Anyways, we did have that vote between God Coup and, uh, you know, Whis and Zamasu. Sorry, no, not Whis. <laughs> Where did I get Whis and Zamasu? Uh, Whis and Beerus, right? And I'm pretty sure God Coup won that vote. Right? I mean, it would make sense. So anyways, I think that's going to be the next one, Godku. And based on these details, uh, I'm pretty hopeful for the Int LR Godku. But maybe, knock on wood, because I don't want to jinx it. Um, you never know with uh, Bandai and Easy A's, right? So anyways, guys, uh, let me know in the comments how you guys feel about the Bojack Extreme Z Awakening. Like I said, I like the key. I like... Um, you know, the additional attack and defense boost, I think he's going to hit really hard. I think his defense will be uh, good enough for most things, except for, like, the hardest events in the game, right? Like, uh, I think, you know, if he takes a super in red zone, for example, especially in the harder stages, um, he'll, he'll, he'll take some damage. He'll take some damage, but he's going to be a pretty good defender. Um, he's going to hit quite hard, and uh, he's going to provide some support. He's going to give you some... You know, orb changing, he's going to give you, uh, well, I guess that's it, but, you know, he's going to be good. He's going to be good. So, that is the Int Bojack Extreme Z Awakening. Once again, a big shout out to Quentin BFR on uh, the Dokkan subreddit. And, yeah, let me know your opinions in the comments. Do you think he's good? Do you think he's bad? Or do you think he's just okay? And that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video sub to the channel if you're new hit that notification bell so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and until next time have an awesome awesome day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut video signing out